guys, it's Brandon here. This is just a quick video on how to get multitasking, wallpapers, and battery percentage on your iPod Touch second generation. If you have a second generation, you know that you're not uh, able to have the wallpapers, the multitasking, all that cool stuff built in your iPod when you do the jailbreak me jailbreak. Uh, with the Red Snow Jailbreak, that video that I had previous, I can have it right here if you guys want to check it out, or in the description down here, um, you automatically put in these features on the iPod when you jailbroke the iPod. But with this Jailbreak Me website, you're, you're not able to have that built in instantly. You have to go to Cydia and get the right sources to get the uh, these features. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you these this pack these packages and how to get all these wonderful features for your iPod Touch second generation. So here we go. Right now, as you can see, I'm on Red Snow, and um, I'm just going to be taking off the multitasking and the battery percentage and everything just to make sh show you guys for sure that this source does work and so that it can get you all the features that you want. So here we go. waiting here for a minute. Um, I have a couple shout outs I want to make. Uh, the first shout outs to Get Loose Free One. Um, this is his channel. Uh, I will have a link in the description. Uh, guys, go check him out. He's awesome. He informed me of the Jailbreak Me website and that they were going to come out with a jailbreak and that it worked for the MC model and all that stuff. So please go check him out. Go subscribe. He's awesome. So make sure to go see that. And also, I have another one, uh, another shout out. Uh, this is F Town FTW right here. Um, he does awesome uh, videos as well with Apple and uh, the iPod and that sort of thing. So make sure to check him out. He has awesome videos on how to download YouTube videos, how to get multitasking on your iPod as well, and free apps on your iPod or iPhone. So if you want to check him out, uh, he's awesome and he has some really good videos and stuff. So make sure to subscribe to him. He's totally awesome. I'll have him in the description down here to his channel. So make sure to check guys I just uh, finished getting my iPod all ready and stuff for this so first thing you're gonna do is you want to get to Cydia of course so here we go I just jumped into Cydia real quick anyway the first thing you're gonna do is you're just gonna uh, hop on into search you're gonna go up here you're gonna type in features And then hit search. Oh, it's going to reload the data. Anyway, there's going to be two features. This says features for iPhone 3G, and this other one on the bottom here says features for iPod 2G. So this is the one you're going to want to get if you're uh, since you're on the iPod since we are on the iPod second generation. So once this is done reloading, we're going to click on that. Here we'll click on it real quick. Um. We're gonna we're gonna let it load real quick. We're gonna scroll down. This basically allows you to enable and disable the iOS 4 features on your iPod, and this um, allows you to do multitasking, the battery percentage, and the unified iPod. You can do a unified iPod on your uh, instead of having a music application and a videos application, you can put it all into one as the iPod uh, application, and so. Make sure that if you have used Red Snow and you want this package with uh, uh, all installed, make sure that if you have done the Red Snow jailbreak and you've already installed the multitasking, that you disable it by jailbreaking it again and unclicking the multitasking feature and that sort of thing before you install this package, just so that you guys know. Anyway, you're going to go to the features and you're going to go to install up here. It'll bring up the confirming page, and this is what's going to be installed. It's going to have the features for iPod 2G. Um, it's going to have lib hide, mobile saturate, uh, pin crush, preference lo loader, and winterboard. These are the different applications that this is going to download while you download this program so that the program works. So what you're going to do is you're just going to click confirm. OK, 
Okay, you're gonna reboot the device. Just gonna wait for it to reboot, and then um, we'll keep it going here in a minute. Okay, so we got it loaded up. So we're just gonna open it up. So three, one, two. All right. So now we're gonna slide over, and now as you can see, you have Winterboard now, right there. Um, one of the features also it does is gonna have an iPod I icon. Instead of as you see here, I used. Uh, the music and the videos in a folder and instead of having that they can they're going to put it as one iPod icon if you choose to have it so one of the great things about the winter board this allows you to decide if you want just the percentage battery percentage and let's say you don't want multitasking or maybe you just want multitasking and not the wallpaper you can decide which one you want and you can decide which ones you don't want like what features you want on your iPod so here I'll show you real quick you'll go to your select themes and up here you can ha you're gonna have a lot of um, different things like iPod wallpaper iPod wallpaper tasking iPod multitasking Wallpaper multitasking, unified iPod per percentage battery only, multitasking, home screen wallpaper, user wallpaper 4.0. Anyway, it just has a bunch of these things that you can select from, but the main one that gets you all of the features that you're looking for is the iPod, wallpaper, and tasking. This also gives you the battery percentage as well, so don't worry about that. Anyway, if you just want, let's say, the iPod icon and the wallpapers in the background, you can select just the iPod, uh, comma, wallpaper icon up there. So, like I said, just gives you more options, what you want, and that sort of thing. So it's very handy and really good tool. So we're just going to just quickly respring. You just back out, and then you hit respring right here. Or you can hit the home button, that works as well, and it'll just respring for you. Going to get right on in there. See, as you can see, I have the battery percentage up there. Oh, I'm excited. Yep. And my iPod folder is gone, so let's scroll over. Yep, there it is. See, instead of a folder, they have it as the icon now. That's awesome. Wow. All right. And you can see in the background, I have a uh, wallpaper right there. Let's double click for multitasking. Yep. Woohoo. Awesome. All right. And uh, if you want to change your wallpaper or whatever, you just go to settings and it'll load up for you. And you scroll down to wallpaper. And I'll have both of these. You can go in here. You select, you know, you can go to wallpaper or all your photos. Let's say I want this one. I go down to set. I can set the lock screen, the home screen, or both. Let's set the home screen. And then hit the home button. See? It changed. Woohoo! Awesome! hope this video helped you guys uh, to get these features that everyone's been looking for. And it's totally awesome and it's very customizable. And you can uh, select whatever one you want. And uh, make sure to click subscribe and leave a comment if you have any questions. And to Make sure to check out those two shout-outs I uh, gave out. And so uh, thanks again for watching, and I'll talk to you guys later. So see ya.